Hi guys. So, first of all, I'm gonna say I'm not in my PJs. I have a gray shirt, and my hair looks a little bit better than it used to. But I actually have something I want to talk about. Since I've been on holiday, and I noticed probably a few of you have also been on holiday, and I notice a lot of people have this feeling when they go to school. And it's that feeling where you just want to go hide under the cover all day. Uh, the feeling that says you don't, if you do this, why, why do this? And I should start by telling a little bit about myself and when I am in that particular area. School has been a really hell for me. Um, I never really have time to say why and I never really can explain why. But I've always been in school and I always knew I don't fit here. Some people don't fit in school and some don't do. But I sit, I sit there in school and I keep wondering why I am there because I just feel bad about being there. I get these lumps in my stomach, I feel really sad and yeah, well anyways. So I've been on holiday now for two, three, two and a half week I think it is. and. I think I've been having a blast, you know, being home and I needed it. I needed to like have that holiday where I just be with myself and I don't really hang out with friends much. I had a, one on New Year where I hang out with friends and I've been meeting friends of course, but I actually have been home a lot and be with myself and I felt like that's what I that's what I needed this holiday and uh, then Friday actually hit me that is school on Monday and my stomach started hurting really bad and I know it's because of that and on Saturday I actually slept till, till afternoon and I know that I only sleep that long just because I have that little thought in my head that I don't want to do I want I don't want to do something so I sleep over it so I don't have to think about it so I slept that and I just know the reason. And uh, I have found myself really getting really emotional these keep past days. And I have been finding myself angry at everything. I get mad, I got mad at my mom yesterday for a reason I don't really know why. I came up to my room and I was like, why did I slam the door? Why did I get mad? But at least I know why. And hopefully my mom knows why too. Because, yeah. I mean, when people ask me, why why are school so hard for you? Because I have friends in school, I have my grades, I failed in one particular subject, and I don't even have that subject anymore. But I cannot really explain why school is such a help for me, because when I come there, I just want to get out. I cry. I've been crying in school a lot. I cry when I come home from school. Uh, I just don't fit there. It's times when I forget about it because my friends and I want to thank them so much because they know I don't really feel good. So they try to do their best and I notice a lot of people that feel this way. Even those who are really good at school and really enjoy school can also feel this stupid lump. And the thing is, I'm not that person who wants to be surrounded by others. I am a person who rather sit at home and alone in my room and uh, coming to school to uh, hundreds of people I don't know, coming into a class where we had a lot of problems, which I'm not going to say here because I don't want to be the one who spread everything out, but I can cannot lie and say that our class is perfect because it's not. It's been a lot of problems in the class and a few of those things has been surrounding by me. And I don't feel about that either. And that makes everything so much harder for me. And I can never explain it. I mean, people will come to me and they say, why are you so scared of school? Why are you in that particular moment where you don't want to be in school? I mean, you have friends. You don't fail. You go to school and you, you are there. I'm, not, I'm like, at least I'm trying. But I'm not. I'm, when people ask me why, I can never explain why. I just know that I don't want to be there and I don't feel so good. I feel so bad about being there and I know that there are people feeling that way out there too and I know I'm not alone so 
that actually makes me feel a little bit better because when I look around at school, I know I know that I'm not the only one who has this room spinning around me. I'm not the only one who wants to run out of scream. Yeah, I actually been talking to this girl shrink about it and she actually said those things too. I'd be seeing you out in the hall, you'd be laughing, you'd be having fun with your friends. I don't really understand how this can be so hard for you. And I'm like, neither do I. Honestly, I don't. I... So, actually, what I came into my point is, I know it's a lot about talking about me, but I wanted to tell my story, also because I'm starting school tomorrow, and I feel like I have to talk it talk it out, and I thought this would be perfect, because the subject I wanted today was school, and feeling that stupid feeling that you shouldn't feel. And, I mean, even if I'm fine in school, there's people there who comes to school and don't feel good at all people that have this lump because people are mean to those persons and that's not good either and I always been that person who want to stop that because when I was younger that happened to me I would have people picking on me a lot because I had a temperament I could be angry like that I was in a lot of fights I could scream I could yell over nothing and it was because I was a sad kid I admit it and my parents have no idea about it. It was like in school, my teachers, they, they thought my parents knew, so they never called. So when I told my mom about it, like, you know, I was, uh, you know, I didn't have a good time in school, you know, I was in fights. So she was like, I had one call about your fight. You were in one fight. And I'm like, no, mom, I wasn't. But when I moved up to a higher class, we moved to another school. I thought it would be better, but then, just, then there was the rumors. The ones who had been you know, in the class went around and talked about my temper. And there was people that actually walked by to me and tried to make my temper go. But that's actually the moment when I had actually been fighting with myself to not have that temper in this new school. So, yeah. And I noticed a lot of people go through that and feel that people are so mean to them. And people, like, push them around because they're different and because they don't think that they think they deserve to be there and I am I was actually in a group when I tried to fight it and I still want to fight it like all oh, but I don't know how because people shouldn't be feeling that way really and what I what I mean is there's always something in life that you do that you don't want to do but you do it anyway but it hurts like hell. And actually, for those who are picked out of school, and for those who are feel like me, actually hugging through the camera right now, because you are strong, you can handle this, and you are amazing. Really, you are. And don't listen to what everybody says, because you are beautiful. Believe me, you are. And there's nothing wrong about being special. You haven't done anything wrong. It's the other people who done something wrong. And I think you should do something about it. Like, go go talk to your parents. Go talk to shrink at school. Do anything. Try to stop it. Because you're not worth it. You're not. So that's my point today. If you have any stories you want to talk to me about, leave it in the comment below or video response. I love it. I haven't got any really, but um, please, just, if you watch this and you feel like me, just leave something, tell me something, because I definitely respond, I will respond to you, and uh, i see you later, okay, I probably have something else to talk to, but.